Jesus saw them. These three words have been in the midst of this story all along, but I've usually overlooked them in favor of focusing on the Samaritan thanking Jesus. Or I've overlooked them in favor of focusing on the aspect that our faith is what heals us. Jesus saw them. These 10 men with horrible skin diseases. Now they were likely both Jewish and Samaritan men cast out by both societies. They were not welcome in the synagogue. They were not welcome at the market. They were not welcome in any of normal society. Jesus saw them. He did not turn a blind eye. He did not cross the street to avoid having to make eye contact with them. He didn't pretend not to hear them. Jesus saw them. What does it mean to be seen? I mean, sure, it means that somebody lays eyes on you, but it means that you are not forgotten. It means that you are somebody to someone. It means that you're not ignored. To be seen means everything. Jesus saw them and Jesus sees you, and Jesus sees me. He sees us in our fear. He sees us in our uncertainty. He sees us in our anxiety. He sees us in our ugliest of moments. Jesus sees us in our joy. Jesus sees us in our celebration. Jesus sees you, each of you. In this season of thanksgiving, we can give thanks that Jesus sees us. But more, we are challenged to go and do likewise. We are challenged to go and see others. To see the ones that society likes to hide. To see the ones that we usually overlook. To see the ones who are working tirelessly and are largely ignored to see the ones who have been in their homes since COVID began. We are invited to open our eyes and see as Jesus sees, to see with Jesus' eyes. Let us do just that. Amen.